All right, here's a quick tour of the three features we've added to the drawings environment for the August release. The first one is we've made a change to grips. So you'll see as I click on elements in the drawing, grips are now shown as round, as opposed to the squares that we had before. And this just gives you more of a fusion-like look and feel, similar to what we see in the sketching environment. The other thing is that redundant grips have been removed. So you'll see as I click on a view, there's no more grip on the in the middle of the view, and that's because that grip was redundant. We didn't need it. You can move your views around by clicking anywhere on the bounding box. Next up, line width groups. We've been able to change our line width group for a few releases now. What you'll see is there's now a custom option. So what the custom option allows us to do is to choose a specific size for a line width. So if we look at our thin line over here, shown by these hidden lines, we could make those the same as our thick external line, and we get a view that looked something like that. Or maybe we want even more control, we want to make them even thinner than the default, we can do that too. The last one is a big change, and this is going to give us a lot more control over the elements on our drawing and the way that our drawings look, and this is text type groups. So similar to line width groups, we have a changeable text type group. The default is medium, and if I change this to small, the size of all of the text elements on the drawing are going to decrease proportionately, and that means that for instance, on our dimensions, the arrows will get smaller as well. So I'll say OK to that, and you'll see that everything's scaled down. And if I change this to something like large, you see that everything increases. I'm going to set it back to the default. Now we're going to talk about the individual elements. So the small text type group generally affects things like our tolerances over here in ISO templates. So if we change to a custom, we change our small text to the same size as our medium text at 3.5. We just refresh that view. You'll now see that we have the same size over there. Our medium text height group controls our dimensions and our tables. So if we change our medium uh, size to five, You'll see that our table gets bigger, so does all of our dimensions. We're going to set that back to, we're going to set that back three and a half. And here's the big change. We can now control our balloon sizes. So this is something customers have been asking for for a long time. These live in our large text type group. Now the large text type group contain, contains balloons as well as view labels. So if I change my large down to 3.5 to match my dimensions, my dimensions stay the same size, but my balloons and my labels are now down at the smaller size. Again, I can make these even smaller and we can always override the size of our view labels. So we've got really decent control over the elements on our drawings. Hope you enjoy this update.